All right, what have we done to deserve this? Probably one of the only few platforms that I think I grace almost every time. I take you and then KSM, like back to back, religiously. So no, don't, 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 man, you miss out. It was if, one year. That, that was last year. And I went home with her. Eh, but she how? Yes, I'm, yeah, I know it's, it's, eh. it's, uh, it's, uh, it's almost like me missing Rapaholic, oh, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> home, home is home. I know what the fans would do if I miss Rapaholic. Eh, home, home is home. True, true. Would it ever happen that Rapaholic without Sarko? I always feel like it every year. Like, like yeah, yeah, without me. The whole t- I seen. Like oh, without like you. No, actually to even not do it uh, in the in the year. Really? Yeah. Uh, I been, think one been, of the producers mentioned. Yeah, I always feel like ah, I don't I don't think this year feels like we should do it. But then when it gets Yeah, hey, but you can feel no no one day. But I'm looking at a day where you wouldn't show up, you just be behind. I would and like produce. To, I would like to see that. Uh, like I would like to see that. You did backstage. So it grows beyond just coming to see Sarko Day. Mm-hmm. That's that's actually a, a thought that I've had. That know? every year you have a headliner. Exactly. Like that's that's the year. idea for this is Tema. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is Tema was started, and then I wanted it to be like you know, a Kwesi Atta can can head it. Our two Bs will do it, which is is still going to be that because it's it's not this is Tema. It's not Sarko there. It's, okay. it's Tema. So, but Rapolik, of course, you. I don't know how it's going to feel if I'm not on the stage at all. But I think we need, we need to try. If it's a good show, they wouldn't. They like wouldn't. like what what happened recently? I mean, that was which, my which one, the, the the recent Rapaholic. Were you there? Oh, Charlie is small, small. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come. This your manager didn't invite me. Oh, so that's the beef. Yeah, that's the beef. Okay, yes. Go, 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 go. He didn't invite me. Can you imagine? The issues Angel has that he has to solve. <laughs> he know me small. <laughs> he my producer's one lash up, bro. Yeah, well, mind you, no try. Eh, uh, nah, 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 nah. one lash up. No, I, I spoke with Hammer. Um, I think the producers even came to me before uh, George Quay. and the George George was with me a few days before the event. So I had been through the process okay. uh, till, unfortunately, that day I had an event. Okay. So my Christmas was also busy. Okay. Anyway, uh, your song, I'll Be There. Yes. W- when you listen to it, okay, do you listen to it often? Yes. One of, one of my songs that I go back to listen to. That, does it, do you, do you feel that inspiration anytime you, you listen or you play it? Yes. Yes. I actually feel like when I'm listening to any other um, gospel songs. Uh, it gives me that vibe, and the production is good. So it's it's and for not when you when you go back to listen to it, big shouts to Kewa. But Almost all the records I've done with Kewa, I still revisit. They're all very strong songs. When, when you are down, what's that Sakodia song you listen to? I don't listen to myself because <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm I'm just gassing my own self up. Um, I definitely like to listen to a lot of. Uh, I think I've said it several times. Yasapo. In, in in those times, mm. he has the messages for, um, but I really I'm 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 not down. It's it's hard for me to be in that state. No, but you're human. You are human. Yes, I can be frustrated at, about something, but I don't think because I, I I I understand life. There's it's it's really nothing. You're you're gonna be good, regardless. So uh, yes, the human bit can kick in for, but it's it's not to a point where I need music to. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. But if if I want to be motivated and, and reassure myself, my faith and all that, yes, I revisit Yao Sapon's records. Yeah. But speaking of the frustration, you know, at a point, any of your frustrations, you just get into the booth with, without putting pen to paper and then you just pour your heart out. Some of them. Some. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but all of a sudden, it looks like you, you've slowed down. I haven't. It's just maybe my frustration now is not as um, relatable to maybe the masses. So you might not notice even even if I'm talking about it. I think when your frustration is a lot of people's frustration at the same time, yes, it becomes like a, a major thing. But it could be a song that I just dropped that you think is just a regular song, but that might be my personal uh, issue. So I do it. It's just that people have an expectation of what they think mm-hmm. you're supposed to. The expectation. Exactly. The expectation, because I noticed some people, some fans were lashing, lashing you hard on on the economy, the current economy. Why are you not saying anything? When when you did you see them? Oh, it's it's it's, it's twenty four seven for every uh, public figure on on social media. There is no way you're going out there that every day people are saying you are the best and you are a king, and it's it's happening on on a regular basis. It's not once. 
yeah, of course, you have intense day where something has come up. But I think on a regular, every day, somebody has something to say. So that one is... and. But bottom line is, whatever you're saying, you didn't say it before I went to do the first one. So <laughs> that is not a reason that's going to get me to go and do anything. So if I want to do something, it's something I will feel like doing and I'll do it. So your comments is not really, I won't say relevant, but that's not the reason why I'll go and, and record a song. Does it mean that none of the fans can push you to do stuff? Yes, they do. Um, it depends on, on what you what you want me to do. Some of the fans are... Sometimes I see a comment on on a video maybe I dropped on on um, YouTube and then they will make a comment and you can see when it's coming from a genuine place and we have a the, the hate type of <laughs> comments which is very you will notice it, it insulting you for no reason but somebody will say Sack, I think you are going off this way I think this is you know s- stuff like that yes I can I can work on and that you take them in good faith yes. oh wow I'm somebody I'm not really afraid of uh, I actually like people. Who can tell me? My team is not the the team that Angel will not spare, even if I'm not going to be I'm not going to receive it well. He still say it, you know. Um, my business partner, the same thing. She schools me like a, a child because she thinks we are uh, on the entertainment side, and she is both she understands the entertainment and then the corporate. She had to explain to me how it works. And if you want to survive, and somebody is in there who knows it, you just you just listen. So I don't really have a problem but if you are coming from a place where you are trying to like it's not like you're giving solution but you're just trying to tarnish what i'm doing or trying to like undermine my effort that one i'm not i would notice that i don't have to listen to that well listeners in case you just tuned in sakodi is my special guest in the studio and we're talking with streaming live on youtube and on facebook log off it's 103.9 fm we have a lot more to talk about Hi, I'm on my way. Hi, <laughs> Budo. I'm on my way. Say that, that, you know, your brain they receive that, that one. Yeah, no. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it'd be the ultimate brain they receive that one. You know, bang! Yeah. I'm on my way. Yes, yes, yes. Charlie, yes, yes, yes. brothers yes. wear that they use extra yes, things. Yes. When you hear I'm on my way, people <laughs> apply. <laughs> hey! So my party apply. I'm on my way, never out. <laughs> yeah, never have way. Hey. She's still on the way. Hey. <laughs> the girl don't count. Who just for a dresser? Hey, yeah, we're meeting at Mekuno. Oh, you know. Ah. <laughs> but why? Why? Why they been to the dark? That's the way they tell the story, though. No, oh, but this, yeah, uh, but, but, but why it never happened to you before? <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm blessed like that. Hey, <laughs> hey. It just said, I'm on my way. No, I'm blessed like that. Wait, well, never no come. No disappointment, bro. We are the best. I go ask because if he gets on trouble. <laughs> 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 but 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 that, does Madame ask questions, especially when she hears stuff? Um, no, because she's been with me and I'm saying stuff that she knows I'm not even into the stuff that I'm talking about and. You know, I, when I started even talking about champagne, I, I, I had never tried it. Boga mm. boga, I mean too quite. <laughs> I remember right? true, true, So true. it's not really about what you're doing. You have to, if, as, an, as an artist, you have to be able to live people's uh, reality. You know, because if I'm talking about me, it might be boring because I don't do much myself. But a lot of people are going through stuff that you can just pick from. 
you know, and I, I my boys, boys, first. Yes, she had the same way on the better, but then you are, <laughs> you are picking, you know, these things out in uh, reality. I did a course, I don't know. Mm. <laughs> why, why, like a customer on fire, we need to talk, Anka. <laughs> <laughs> But 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 stop. after you go, come it come your day. We need go. to talk. We no. need to I talk. Know, who who was, motor without <laughs> <in the> <laughs> <laughs> Because you go remember each. <laughs> there are some bells. We just be be oh So we need to talk. <laughs> so when you get time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But 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 when you remember stuff like this, that oh you should have put in a song. And and it clicks like that. Or if anyone comes to my life. I, I forgot the, the way, sure. Yeah, yeah what happens? Can, no, you start no, thinking it, of a remix? No, not the, not the same song, but you still have it here. That it could be another song that you can just put that phrase in there. Yeah. So what for like features? The thing is, there's no. I don't really sit down and plan these things. It has to. It has to happen. So, but since I have it here, if so, and I'm and I said me I'm then I'll just give it to myself. Mm -hmm. I don't sit down and plan like I'm going to do this and i'll do I'll, I'll do a song like this i actually i've never done that before mm. to plan how this i'm maybe throwing you but this is what i want i don't do that this is if it, if it happens and then the cadence happen to be this way then i'll just do it let's stay on the jams album so the last time we met that was about two weeks ago we we're having a discussion on hit songs yes. and you were even saying something about oh the song you felt like it, it could be Yes, and in that discussion, well, people were not around, so it was just us. Yeah. But on air, uh, I want us to get deeper into it because it's. It, I, I think that dedication needs to go down. And Martinez and uh, Robert and, and Bull, I'll need your input on this. About like about a hit song. Sorry. American. Robert, get close, right? Hey, uh, what were you saying? Why the slam a name like that? Robert, like you know, because you're in a tie. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Again, sock is here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. 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 You know what to do. I forgot that. Okay. So, when you were recording the, the Jams album, did, did you have like a, a pan of songs that you had to select or you did this for the album? Yeah. So, I think two, three songs started the album. That's what normally happens, and um, I think she bad. Uh, I think the oh, way that's I, my favorite on the album. Anyway. Yeah, the way I arranged it, kind of like similar. So, um, La Badi she bad, and um, the Kuga. No, Kuga came late. Uh, it, the one with Ink Boy, One Million Cities. Mm -hmm. That's that's a jam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So, so these songs kind of like set the tone for what I thought. Yeah, the project could be. Mm, I see. Did you have any when you finished? Did you have any thoughts that okay this this will be the the hit? Mm. Nada. No, I have what I liked, which is not always assured. But which one did you like? Labadi. Oh really? Mm. Was that why you released it first? Yeah, it's still my personal favorite. It's 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 a song that I, I still play in my car when I go to clubs. I I request for it, my own song. But I'm oh like, really? Yeah, because it's a there's a vibe to it when I'm playing it. It makes me feel a certain type of way, and that's why I like it. Were you too concerned when it sounded like the previous record? There was a, a record that um, even when it came, people were saying that. And I remember I even when nice. when I I broke the record. Sorry, it's on lines way. Um, Can promise. Can promise. Yeah. No, no. It was it was like the progression. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Sorry, not the words, but the melody. Yeah, the melody. Like the one with um. Which uh, one? The one with. Can, my, can, my like, can, let, yeah, can I let you go? Oh, okay, yeah. Right. And and then the, the one with the Nigerian guy, I forgot his name. Yeah, because that was intentional. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, really? Uh -huh, yeah, yes. because that, uh, promise me, promise is trying to. It's like a. A collage of yeah, yeah, my, my records. Yeah, yeah. So I think he did like three songs. Exactly. I can't let you go because I'm waiting for your body. And then Anaji, yeah, Anajo. Okay. We make you came Anaji, baby. Why are you doing me so? It's yeah, not living yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Oxley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So Oxlade. like three songs, and then he put together, which was genius. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But people didn't really get the vibe. So when when I broke the record, I was on air saying that you don't have the moral rights. To feed you. <laughs> <laughs> because I wanted to go to BBC. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was there that day. Oh, yeah, you were here, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That day, I'll, I'll bore. I'll say, oh, yeah, I'll be in Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, so, so okay, so you saw the clip? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> yes. How did you feel when you saw it? Of course, it's funny. Because <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, and then I don't think that's. Of course, what you're trying to do is. Um, I didn't. So social media can change energy towards stuff. So sometimes I can see something, I'll laugh to myself. Some I can I can retweet, especially the timing. So if the timing is around me promoting the song, I don't want. Um, I had an energy when you don't, you didn't mean it like that, but then they can pick it up and then make mm, it something. Mm. So that's why. But of course, I saw it. Mm. Yeah. So, um, st- still on the on the Jams album, then came the song with Black Sheriff. Yes, country big jam. Side. And then and that was, was the last song on the. That was the la- was that the last recording you did? Mm-hmm. Wow. Okay. So song came out and it was all over. Were you disappointed that they this, are left this? this. I said it was. I said is. Is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. So were you disappointed that 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 Sack um Sack Black Sharif joined had taken the lead, and it was like that was what was blazing on all radio stations because when I woke up and I tuned in on radio, it was like the only song I was hearing. Like, yo, it's an album. What about the rest? Don't, can't we get the opportunity to um also focus get, on get, yes get get the people because for me remember I was telling you that immediately I had it I even forgot about the black sheriff thing because mm-hmm. I knew that would be a jam yeah. so I started listening to the songs until I got to she bad and I was like okay for now this is my this jam. Is your jam so I skipped it started listening to the rest were you disappointed no it's, it's the best thing that could happen to every artist that you have a song that people love and I've I've grown to understand that you can't really control anything. The fact that you would want them to love something, you can't force them. They love what they love, and the good thing is, it's, my, it's still my song. So it's not like a song that came from somewhere. It's my song, and it's it's, it's huge. So it, it did justice to the project. What every artist will pray for is that at least you have one song that will lead your your album. So now, if you're sitting down and taking people through your project, you need to have a reference song on the project. So if I go to psychology, I might find a. Um, uh, baby or no my chat you find baby psychology you find what uh, psychology and rapaholic i mix i always mix it rapaholic <laughs> had you go kill me yeah that's okay. the biggest on that um highest had pink killer um black love had you know you had sarah you had can't let you go anajo um jams no um no pressure had non living thing and then the, no, not only non living thing yeah no, no, that one no had almost every, every song on Coachella there. Coachella yes big, Coachella big on, on so now you need that for jams so no matter where it comes from even if it was a, the, the skit in the beginning that became a hit I'll still be proud of it yeah but isn't it amazing how after all these albums you get to remember all of these songs like on every album you remember at least one Charlie yeah. me and Kamri can me yeah only confusion I have is psychology and rapaholic. That too, I'm always confused. The songs on there, yeah. You remember at one time we were having a conversation, and I asked you, I even forced you to do some of the lines. Yeah, way, yeah. And and way. and I was shocked how you was picking it. I remember Ken and I was saying like, "Wow, so after all these, like you remember every line in there." Not and for every song. Not for every song. No, no. So. When a song becomes a hit, I listen to the song the same way the fans would because it's a hit. And you can even, you your own, so you can't run away from it because any time <laughs> that you're somewhere, they're playing it. So you have to catch up with your own lyrics. Some, if it doesn't become huge and it's not my personal, personal favorite, I can forget because mm. I don't listen to it back to back. Um, I wouldn't say personal, personal favorite. It's just I don't give it too much attention. There are songs that if I'm supposed to perform, I'll struggle because I wouldn't, I wouldn't remember. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Now, She Bad.
We're live on it's 103.9 FM. King Sock is my special guest in the studio. She bad. So what? When you're recording with them, what? You you fly them in? Um, some they were here already, and then some I was there, and then somebody did it. And, and where, where was Cranium? Did he come down? Yeah, yeah, that was Rappaholic when he came for Rappaholic. Oh, yeah. Hey, and he kept it all this while. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm fan to Oh no, I'm not ready at all. Like yeah, yeah he he he's I'm fan to out. Uh, oh, but say until it's ready. I mean yeah, wow, yeah. wow. And you were telling me about the emoji song that it stayed for what two years? No, it's, it's almost nine. Nine years. Yes, yeah, nine, ten. Okay, when did you record the Bob Marley song? Three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah. Because I had the info. That <laughs> <laughs> I had the info that yeah, you had it you you this was in twenty twenty. Yes. Yeah. That's how long. And funny enough, mm. and under Tuna Yeah. Why why is it ripe for it to come out now? Um, I think it's it's up to his people when it's ready and then it's, it's a it's a big moment that has to be presented the right way you don't want to um interfere in in their process so uh, i think the hold up wasn't necessarily intentional but keeping it under the wraps was intentional because we have to wait till they're ready but i think they it's a whole project it's not just um it's an african project they're doing so they, and then i happen to be the lucky one to have the first release and then after that they have more coming so they had to make sure they have all Everything ready. Oh, before they're, they're good so is it going to be like the project they did um, with the first one that featured Lauren Hill, exactly. Buster Rhymes? Exactly. Oh, so this is the part two. Yes. Oh, with amazing. Africa. Amazing. Because mm -hmm. um, uh, for I think they said personally, his he has this attachment with with Africa, and I heard he had his biggest concert in Africa. I forgot the the country. So I think the one with Zimbabwe. I think so. Yes, so uh, that's what they said that his connection with Africa is very deep. So that's why they're doing this project to honor, you know, that love that he has for Africa. So did you did 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 you choose the song, or they chose and sent it to you? Yeah, so I had options, but then I I, I went for step it up. Oh, you had options. Yes. Oh wow, but how did you get the link? Um, so these things, how it happens is they as long as you like they're there and they say Sako there is the one that they're. What happens is they are doing a project. They need African artists, and then whoever is in charge of the project will be looking for artists that they think will suit you know, the project. So it will be all all will be presented, and then they will have to choose who they think is good. That's I think before they had to even reach out and say uh, we have this and would like to have you on. Oh wow, yeah. I see. So. Then we, we may have other Ghanaians on, on the project, maybe. Yes, maybe until now, I don't know who's on there. Yeah, because of yeah. confidentiality. Exactly. Well. Okay. Right, I see. Um, so, with this Bob Marley project, was this the reason Posse G made the, the, the comment that <laughs> you're going to be featuring someone bigger than Jay Z? Um, you, you have to ask him, but that, that was definitely a time where, um, because Posse G knows me that I'm very discreet when it comes to these things so but i think his point was coming from pure joy and and being happy for whatever that's happening so i don't think we really had a conversation we had a conversation when i got because that uh information came i was in i was in the air okay i mean um, in a flight. flight so when i dropped as soon as i got off the flight i called him and actually i was a, i was a bit out of character because i was i was like no this is not mm. something that i want mm. and it's that's I said in the beginning, this energy, you know, I don't want people now thinking about, you think you're doing something against something, like I don't right. want all that. It's just music we're doing. It has nothing to do with anybody, you know. So he didn't have that thought. But uh, but for if it's this, then you have to ask him himself because he said it. I didn't, I didn't ask him to go and say it. So, 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 now, to G. so now do you feel like you, well, you feature someone bigger than Jay-Z? I don't think that's a thought. Because I, I have to be honest, it's not my thought. It's not because it's bigger than Jay-Z or bigger than who. Because that's perspective. People can actually think um, 
I don't want to mention it, but everybody and what they think. Because sometimes you think somebody is huge than somebody. You go and ask somebody. The person doesn't know about the person you're talking about who is huge. <laughs> so it's, it's, it's relative. And it's not really about that. Is, that's not the point for me. I think anybody who gets a chance to lay your vocals right next to the original vocals of Bob Marley, I don't think anybody would take this as a, a small situation. You know, it's, it's a very big honor. And it was, it was I was super nervous. Um, <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah, even doing songs with a Bravo, I, I I get nervous because you know he doesn't, uh, he doesn't curse. He doesn't. There are certain rules that it's like uh, uh, unspoken rules about a Bravo because you listen to his catalog throughout the whole years. There's no song that has any type of curse you know, exactly. And then working with me, then I have to sieve myself to work with him. So imagine Bob Marley, and yes, Bob Marley and what he stands for and the type of music he does and his state of mind. So you have to, so step it up was easy for me because of course it's love. So you can get away with it a little bit and be, you know, but if, if I chose any of those, you know, I have to be in the zone to be able to get, get to that point. Cause I, cause I had options like that. There were songs like that, but okay. I knew that I wasn't mentally there. So I had to choose the one that I could do. Man, I, I like it. Yeah. I like it. Um, But your the fusion of chi yeah I mean, yes i was following there was a a conversation going on especially with the language and, and it's 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 international but mali is this and is that and sakodie bringing it and still people coming you still hold on to the fact that yeah you're representing your people and you won't forget your roots and that's what you're easily familiar uh, that's what you're familiar with mm. and it helps with your flow it, it could that be the reason again do not take me out of context because I've listened to you do some English lines and just the tree was like in my new it was just a yeah. little bit of that and you still delivered and yes yeah. I, mean, I mean it's suck mm. forgive me <laughs> 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 yeah but wh why why that inclusion um so the story was same thing I, I, I thought normally I would, I would first thought to be tree but when when the call came and then I had to do the the thing, I, I thought the same way people were thinking that I, I need to do a lot more English, where you know the family wouldn't know whether you are saying something that they don't like, you know. So <laughs> you have to say it in English so they can hear it. And then um, the feedback was they want more of your language because that's why they're doing oh, wow. uh, an African project. If I don't think you wanna go to China and, and hear an American slang out there because that's not what they're looking for. They come there, they are coming in to tap into what you guys are doing. So that is what I had and then I had to, so I had, it was the other way around. It was a bit like 10% tree and then dominated. So if the the, the ha halfway was a bit English, so that was dominating in the beginning. Then I had to change it into um, rapping in tree. That's what they loved and then I had to translate it in, in English to them. When the song came, when it was released, did you sleep that night? So, because it's been three years, I ha I've already come. It's like it's out already in my mind. Oh, because I've listened to it over and over. Again. Oh, you had a so, copy exactly. So it's not. I just I was like, oh, finally, we can drop. But I don't think it's. If it came out at the same time that I recorded, that would be the feeling you're talking about. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But now it's like, oh, I know what it is. We have shot the video. I've watched it. You know. So. Did you see the negative comments that came? Some of them, psh, me, I was amazed. Mm. They just expect it because you don't want to. There is nothing that you can you can put out there that you expect a uh, hundred percent positivity. It's not even it's not it's not even real. So that is not uh, a shock factor. I knew that this is um, obviously going to have counters coming in. I tried to limit. <laughs> the the percentage a little bit because I know it's going to be there but you know the comments like the one you just said in the beginning about um, Pussy G I know that could also be a factor where people think that is what I I am thinking because the person is close to me so please get closer you know because the person is close to me so whatever he says he think I'm thinking so that can also affect the impact of you know what we put out but I'm in all I've seen a lot of people who really are enjoying it and the the point is I did a, a record with one of the biggest people you could ever think about and that's where it ends to me for me did you hear Shatawale's comments about your what you featuring what well, at least you worked with a ghost it's, uh, it came out of excitement probably did you take it to heart 
I want to I want to remember a situation that I've I've taken to heart in the past few years. It's hard. My 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 issues that I take to heart has is a broader issue. It is it's not limited to human beings, like personal human beings. It's more of things that I want to see change. It's not somebody said something and because everybody's gonna say something. So that's not to me that's not what gets to me. It's more about this industry and how I think I've we've had conversations about, you know, so that's to me that's what that, that's what will get to me, not an individual sharing their opinion. No. I mean, where the funds are pouring in and trying to you don't get distracted at, at all about these it will actually be hurtful if you don't get that because that's that's when you are not necessarily important in the conversation because if it's you it's very uh i thank god that you can cause that type of attention that people actually care whether it's hate or love it's because you need that reaction to to weigh where you are you know in life so as i think it's in in all i see it in a good side of it but yeah. don't you get disappointed that your own people like ah, Charlie, we're colleagues. We're, we've been through it over and over again to as it's sad to say not necessarily accepted but as like as expected in a way so a couple years back yes i'll be shocked i was like are oh, we doing something so great not just me even other artists when i see people treat them like that when they have done something amazing you know because i i feel everybody has their principle i have my principle I don't necessarily love everything that anybody does, but my principle is, is it that I'm about to uplift or I don't care? So it's two things. I don't have to put what you're doing down because I don't know what you are thinking while you're doing it. If you do something that's foul, like evil, bad, of course, people can comment on that. But I think me having my opinion, that's going to like degrade your effort. I don't think that's what I would do. I would choose not to care about it. But um, that's my, my rule. So I live by that. But I, don't, I can't control how other people... Uh, react to mm. situations yeah there are comments pouring in for you i'm going to read some of them and then i i get my elders in the studio elon bini big shout out to elon bini he says oh, that's my guy yeah, yeah, yeah good guy he says senior good morning to you and sir just two simple questions for him meanwhile i see three <laughs> <laughs> hey happens to a writer well he says number one how did you manage to get cranium to flawlessly sing in chi that part of him doing tree is quite therapeutic. Should I should I read all of them so you nah, I can answer that. So that was just the recording session and then of course you know how studio works. When you're working actually when a lot of artists are working with me and then they're not Ghanaians, I want them to sing in, 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 in our language. Okay. So that's the same thing that happened. I just gave him the words and then he used it. Okay. But was it difficult? I think there was yes, one I saw it was so <laughs> funny. <laughs> uh for Wakumano took him uh, like a lot of takes. Because oh yeah, it's more of, he hears wafa all the time okay. instead of fawa. Okay. Yeah. Wow. Number two says also, did you record over me directly with Sina Soul in the studio because no. her vocals were so powerful? Sack, uh, make our lady overstretch herself to make sure she <laughs> delivered good on it. No, so I sent it to her. That's one of uh, the best vocal, vocal performance I've, I've heard, and then I think she's actually extremely very good. Too much. Sina Soul's voice is like something that can represent us. On, a, on an international scale. And um, I know it's going to get there. I don't know which song. I don't, like when I saw Kim Promise, I knew it was going to be huge. I didn't know how, but I knew that it was going to be good. And Sina Soul has that approach. So yeah, I sent it to him. To her, the only part that I, I added was the end when it said, over me, you did over. Okay. I, that melody came with me and Kim Promise were in London. And then it was humming it. And I had to like send her a voice note to sing that. So mm, I see. Countryside with Light Shaif there. My voter DJs be banging it back to back. Okay, so that's not a question. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, uh, wait, wait, wait. More comments. Okay, George Quay. He says, Minya, you have a legend in the studio. I've worked with many artists, but I can tell you for sure that when it comes to work ethic, deep interest in the process, solid commitment to the final output, and general concern about the grand look and feel from start to finish. Sack is one of the very best we have around. I pray God continues to open doors for him. It's always an honor to work with him. Kudos. Well, that's uh, from George Quay. Yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, yeah. Bra, bra George. Well, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, no, but before you skip that, George, George's commitment to this industry, we can't rule that out. Charlie. You know, over the years, I don't know who has been discommitted to us and, and serving us selflessly. Um, 
And you can see when people are doing stuff for, for you know, favors in, in return. Nah, George literally just want to see people win. And um, big shouts to Boo, who is here at, at the birth of Rappaholic. These people are people that just lay down their selves to make us, you know, who we are. And big shouts to Mr. George. Still here. Um, he literally just hit me up. I don't know. I, I asked, George, does he have a life outside our industry? Because he's <laughs> always talking to somebody, trying to do something with the person, you know. I just shot a, a short clip somewhere in Accra. I just called him that I just needed a place because he had a link to it. He had to, like, he's literally the director for what I did because he had to move from work and come. So big shouts to his commitment. I really do appreciate it. I, I've told him already, but I have to say it on here, that the industry need to celebrate George Quay. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Okay, more comments. Let me read them. Uh, pour them in, pour them in. I have time for you. But uh, the African says, boss, it's about time we stop asking some questions which is not relevant. Asking Sakode about what Shata said is not relevant. Please, <laughs> let's see what your presenters who are looking for him to ask such a question. No respect. Well, thank you. Then he shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Does that mean... Okay, no comment. Let me just do my work. No, I see... You don't want to take opinion. No, I've taken it. That's what right, I said. So let, let's move on. <laughs> uh, don't, don't catch feelings. <laughs> too touchy, touchy. Masa. Chale, let's Chale, uh, Masa, send I'm um, in capital letters. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why it is my opinion. Like yes. the the Excuse head. me. It is my opinion to walk you out of the studio. I will not go anywhere. Like the show will stop. You did hear. Opinion to sit down. <laughs> oh, what do they talk about? Hey. Masa. The court cases I get no child. I want another one. Hey, I mean, hey, 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 hey. They don't use that language. Mother, oh, what's your name? I heard myself. <laughs> GOK <laughs> <laughs> breaks us. I suck on just don't love what everybody put. Uh, that's, but that's my principle. If you come to says, Andy, please ask Sack what he has to say about Nasty C's comments about Sack not shaking his hands. One. Number two, why did he choose the album title Jams? Number three, can he tell us a little about how Bob Marley's team and his team were contacted? Well, I, 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 he has answered that already. So, yes, one and two. First one was. Um uh, what do you have to say about uh, Nasty C's comments about you not shaking his hands? Um, I think I always I'm I'm always surprised when people are like they feel disappointed when maybe something doesn't go how they expect it to be. You know, I'm not ruling out the fact that it might be true what you're saying, but we all go through it. Like we, you have tried to like reach out to somebody, but you see, if I respect somebody, I'm not necessarily mad at the person that that's their choice if they are being rude and trying to tell me like if you do something to me that's different but if you didn't do something for me i don't think that's a problem so i was just saying sorry to to start with but at the same time don't get don't get it twisted and and throw in certain conversations like i'm i'm reaching out and you are uh declining whatever so that's me addressing that part because that's that wasn't the truth so i had to like address it and then make you understand that sometimes it's just your own expectation that's really getting you disappointed not necessarily what the person did so you replied him yes yeah, so in a way because i had a, a few things i wanted to say before 2023 and then <laughs> that was that happens to be one of the conversations are you expecting a response from him i don't expect anything from anybody but then if i feel like I, if i want to do something i'll do it yeah if he comes at you like um a response, sort of. You're a bigger artist. I would never. I, I can never predict that. But just in case, I, it, will it you go back and forth? No, it, I would never say. What never. I, exactly. You, you will never say never. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so what you said in the song? You almost always say, "Baby, if I were ready, in yeah, day. yeah, if I want to, yeah." Hey. Hmm. What person are you there? Soldier, so, soldier, no, soldier is always a soldier. Oh. <laughs> but they must say they are not, they are not. What's that? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I believe that whether please ask if the kind of profane or suggestive lyrics he puts out in his branding or is just a dream. Ah. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> was it specific on, on the lyrics? Um, uh, yeah, it's the yeah, lyrics. Okay, Olasti says, Andy, as the bigger uh, than Jay-Z track is out, no, stir it up. So right now, if Jay-Z plays a call for a feature, will he consider him? And um, Lalo Sakodia, please, what are we building for Bob Kofi Olasti Mali? <laughs> 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 um, at, at, if, if you answer the Jay-Z... Uh, of course, uh, you you run with immediate effect. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yes. Man like Pilato says, good morning, Brandy. Tell King Saga the feel that Tony used in saying, I put in a lot of work, so they call me the landlord. The way that thing they be me, landlord what? Um, okay. Igilai says, says, Andy, you know what's up? She bad is a, is a jam. Now, Adam Tatome says, matters of the heart. Samini pours out. Yvek Sakwa, is it the first time? It seems, wait, Charlie, that's quite a lengthy message okay it seems more than seven musicians feel sack know they return favor adam el freddie mayway yemi alede kwakese sherry fagunu gh and now samini what runs through their disappointment is the fact that after agreeing to be on a project with them he later refuses to return their calls and messages he ignores them i think in current digital climates the success camp needs to be worried and proactive about reputation and perception management of the brand sarkode and better reach to these aggrieved colleague for them to even do a damage control on their behalf to clear some of these things online. They may think it will die naturally when they come up, but what they forget is their perform performance history, which makes people dig into the past when there is new issues to make their case like I have done. This means issues never die naturally, especially when not dealt properly. In this regard, anytime an issue pops up, Try and solve it to its logical conclusion, else the day something comes up, it will be used as reference against you. Organizations and individuals should take serious perception management if they really care about their public image. Thanks. All right, so that's Adam Tutome of uh, Ghanaian Times. Um, quite a lengthy yeah. message. But there was a lot to pick from it. I think he, he, has, um, he has a point. Um, yes, I picked, I picked a lot from the angle he's coming from. It's true. As much as you think something might not be true, so you think um, it will die of which it does, but uh, certain people that will keep that in them because they never had clarification to it. So, yes, makes sense. Mm. Now, I, I woke up with... Uh, I woke up with a, a lot of comments and Samini, well, coming up with some... There was there were a lot of tweets on on Twitter going on. Um, he says, "Not sure I'll need." Okay, someone she looks like he, he he says, "I did love rocks for free under twenty four hours." Uh, he's just alone when it comes to returning favors. That's all. Unlike him, I do my own hooks and verses. I don't need features to blow like I die. Uh, you know what time it is, Sakodi? We should direct. He says, not sure I'll need a, a verse from Sack, but if he ever need, does need one, I'm not interested in that fact. He knows he's, this himself. Oh, yeah, look, sometimes I don't, and I don't play that. Yes or no, be problem for him, so he goes slow you and your project go down. He did it to me on Burning EP. Um, and he says, I got nothing against Sakodi, and he knows it. He also knows that he owe me personal apology for the blue ticks after sending me after having me send three tracks and he choosing one, after asking me if it was a single or an album to which I answered, it's an EP, he's like, cool, he's here to respond. So these are tweets from Samini. Mm. Yeah, the same way it caught everybody off guard. It's the same. So we'll just have to get the details as to what actually um, could be the issue before we can actually comment because you don't want to like say stuff because I don't know where he's coming from at this point. So when we get to... What it is about, we definitely put a comment to it. Well, where it's coming from is the fact yeah, that it's a tweet. tweet. But I, what I'm saying is, it could be, it could be more than, more than that. So you have to be very careful how you you because I would, I always treat things how I would. I, I see things how I would have reacted, which is wrong. But then that's my logic because before I will come out there to say something, I might have told you already, right? So if if Andy Dusty are doing something, I tell you on WhatsApp. I will tell you that this and this and that. Um, what was it? Did I call you? You've not called me in a very no. long time. <laughs> uh, but but we, we, we've had, no, we, we've been I, chatting. Did I call you on, I don't want to be specific on a case. I think there was something you guys were discussing here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You, exactly. Yeah, I remember. So I, I, I was with you. We go chop for four away. 
Or mm. it was you? I mean, what did we discuss? No, no, I don't I think it was a... No, 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 please. Don't bring me coming. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. They no, would have chopped for food for some joint. Then but I didn't that show you. We discuss something on air. Yeah, yeah. Day on air that no, day. that day you were on air. I think it was a tiny issue. So I called I you. I called you and we had a conversation. You know, I told you my point of view. Right. Or, yes, or, or I wrote you, you something. You paid the 2000 for time. This is why, see, <laughs> Maybe the I see my make kind of make kind of. So, my, 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 I see they kick me, now you, you, you know, now, now you kick you small. I just said, you're like, I'm going to finish it, 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 you know, so my, 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 my point was, because I felt a certain type of way, I called, I'll, I'll, I'll hit you up and say, oh, this and this and that, um, yeah, I, I, and I doubt that personally having issues with people, would make me want to like let the public know because Twitter is not gonna solve. I don't. I don't think you can even actually make your point on Twitter. It would, this is not. It's gonna. It's, they will. They will dissect it and make it look a certain type of way. So if I have a personal issue, even if I, I, you're actually wrong, I will have to tell you, uh, Bulldog, whether you respond or not. I, at least I've told you. So that's why I want to know exactly what it is before you make a general comment about it. Yeah. Mm, I see. All right, uh, guys. So we are we are live on on hits one zero three point nine FM. Kinsaki is uh, my special guest. Um, and Dusty, please ask accordion whether he really has a song with Kanye West or not. And would you tweeted something like that a few months ago, Richard from Spintex? Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I think he will say it. Uh, <laughs> 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 no, I don't. I don't. I don't have a song with him. Mm, okay, Cambodia, my guy, Cambodia. Uh, Cambodia fixes cars, man. He, he fixed my car recently. Was well, so I tell Sarkodia that I greet him? I greet him and Black Nana. They should look for me small. Way, way back in Tema Community Eleven. Uh, if you're a guy, eh? Yeah, Cambodia. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey. Okay. Hey, Samini is saying something. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So yeah, Charles. I have a lot of boss. He says. And it was the Apu and his family, you know, I had a little bus when they arrived from London during the lockdown. Uh, I personally held his wife's bag into, into the bus. I think you didn't know who I was then. I'm a big fan. So Sarko and his family rode in one bus from the airport to the hotel for quarantine. Oh, wow. Hey, Charlie, so this quarantine thing. The time they go lock you up for. <laughs> yeah, Alicia. Hey, Charlie. Okay. Now, showing off MPP colors in a stereo out video, people say he confirmed that he's MPP by showing the flag. Fred from Amasama. Charlie, yeah. today, dear. <laughs> today, dear. <laughs> so, this Fred from Amasama. Sack. Hmm. Was that intentional? So there was a Fred from Amasama. Says, I was. So I had to actually go and watch it back again. Okay. The video, oh, so you've seen the, you've seen the, that yeah. comment. So the video. But well, the part that you saw me in is the only part that I was there. Every other thing that I had no idea because it's not my video. I didn't control the cutaways. So you saw, okay. you saw, um, Bosco. Yeah, Daddy Bosco. I had no idea. I had, I saw Daddy Bosco. I ah, no mu nim ni So if you ask Bosco, I didn't call Bosco that you have to be in the video, right? So and he didn't even know that that was the video. For a minute, I had to rewind to check where. Yes, it was Daddy Bosco. Yeah. So I saw it the same way. That's the same thing with everything because these are uh, white people from somewhere. They are shooting. You know the flag is. MPP, NDC, they are just shooting it. So, but I, I get it. You know, just so who brought the flag there? I think it's just you have flags around. Because mm. in the short, I think it was somewhere. From the comments, I thought you had wrapped yourself with it. Like, hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Charlie Sack. But Charlie, let's wrong, address but it. There's nothing wrong, even if he's MPP. What's wrong with that? I've not invited you. Who the hell is it? <laughs> <laughs> I've not been to court yet. He doesn't fear the court. I, I do. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Be bulldog. On one guy is a killer.
Um, I think if we are going to do the best of what we are doing and the people that makes me put out my best, that's MOG and, and POSIG, I would definitely need them to be part of the project. And they were they were open to that because they, they want to tap into a sound that they are not used to. So also they wouldn't want to like, because how many remixes have they had of Bob Marley's original record? And that's always them choosing the sound. So they can also let go to a different territory to uh, dictate how the sound should be. But this song has not been touched before, right? Like, there, there's no remix. Um, I think when I think they did, there's been covers. Or? Uh, no, oh, covers. covers play, no, play. Like this one, it's never. No, happened. no, I don't. I don't. I think, okay, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. On the first, on the first project, I don't I think know. anyone touched it. It is me for I Africa. I don't me, I said it before Africa. Forget Ghana, safe Africa. Oh, bamba. Hey, <laughs> but you cried as in. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I come predictable, so I like socks mentality. The best way to kill a story is to be quiet. Um Okay, right. <laughs> Ike unpredictable. The unpredictable. Okay. Uh Sparrow Bob says, Good morning, shout out to the landlord. It's annoying how some people are saying the rap love on the song. The rap love love on the song. The story that what did they want him to stay? <laughs> but it's a love song. It's a love song. Mm -hmm. Um Baroski, the new one, says, Please ask Andy Asak, how did he translate the Lempa to Bob Mali <laughs> 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 oh, God. Uh, then he says, please, when are we getting Rapaholic in Kumasi? Has Rapaholic been, been in Kumasi? Yes, we did that uh, some years back at Royal Lameta. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that was, that was a good one. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I remember, I think. This year, if not even Rapaholic, we're definitely doing a big show in Kumasi. Oh, this year? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. When is the announcement coming, Charlie? We yeah. wait for he just did. We are, yeah, we are, yeah. Oh, exactly. there's, there's a lot more to say, man. There's exactly, the details. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Violence. Uh, Nana Kwasi says that the Samini Dagati level, the respect earned, the love it pains when he's seen go on that tangent. Very sad. Got a problem with the brother you can find easily. Social media isn't the way for people like him. Guess he's human and I got to limit my expectation. Um, I don't really understand the. Then, 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 then. We're like, yeah. Kingdom Malik says, please, Andy, this question is very, very important. Ask landlord if he was high just like Bob. I mean, <laughs> did he take the thing before composing the. Okay, um, Kwame Dai says, and please ask him Sag, to tell we the youth how to blow up and stay relevant like him. Wow, that's, that, that's a, uh, yeah. I, that was going to be my question when yeah. we open up the floor. Wow, yeah, how, how do you do this? You know, you have too many, like the successes be too much. The what? Successes, uh, successes, that's that's bars. you know what I'm saying? And and a, a minute ago, you were talking about something you said you were in the air you know and you had to qualify it and say in the plane yeah i was receiving it from a spiritual standpoint mm. that this is an eagle flying mm. you know what i'm saying so f for me yo charlie tell us how you do i mean that's that, that's my thing like how do you i, I know we've had this conversation too many yeah. times anytime we meet you know but let the people hear it I, like how do you do it like they be, uh, you know yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, so that's a, a question that even myself, I would have to like. I always, because I, I get asked that a lot, even from uh, the artist. And it's hard to answer because I think I'm living my life the way I see it to be lived. And then it happens to be that, okay, that you've stayed relevant, but it's not a deliberate attempt to stay relevant. Mm. That is why it's hard for me to. Mm. Um, but I can see traits that. Obviously, that could help as well. I think how you you handle situations going going for it because it's, it's a long journey, so you can treat it as um, just here and and there. Because if it's a long journey, you could park at Linda door and have some food and wait. Because if I know diggy diggy knock on, you never know. Because we be our bread. So just taking the time because a wap. So how you 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 treat every situation is very important. That can that can one thing can just stop everything that you've built for. So. Um, that's how I would see. That's one thing I think is key. How you treat everything, and and nothing is really real. There's nothing like defeat. You have to accept it. You, you, people will tell you that uh, you're done, and actually, when people see Sarko, they're like, "Oh, on Twitter, you're like the most loved." You see that because I focus on the uh, the, the love aspect of it and what people think. Sarko is this, Sarko is that, but then any other thing I know comes with it. So 
don't be in a rush because you're in your feelings and you want to maybe uh, say something, you might, or do something, and you might stop this long legacy that you're trying to build. So I can say that. And also, uh, having the favor of God as well on, on you. I've, I've, I've said that time time to time, that that's very necessary, that you, you have favor too. Wow. Mm. Wow. Just going back, is back. He says, Charlie, so I just made me tear. Let me also take this opportunity to thank my big brother, Bulldog. I probably wouldn't be here if he didn't get me into Charter House. God bless him too. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Booty, booty, OG. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah, it's not about me today, it's about Sack. Listen, you know, when. I should listen to it. So, so, so this is what listen. I come from all, all Sack said, yeah. And, and if anybody is listening to me, it's like brushing your teeth. You can't stop brushing until you are dead. Mm. It, it's a lifestyle, you have to live it. Got to sleep as an old draw shong nash, or shot, or drawing she, or shot on you can't stop. Why is it that you every time? So I can't speak God. God too. You can speak God, but why must you be saying all of this? What did I say? It's a strong nation. That's a new thing. It's a But what to him? Like it's a lifestyle. So one can one I I just want people to understand. Maybe maybe on the other coin, me breaking it down. And I say, man, can you? I'm going. Who knows the speaker? Who knows the speaker? Sam, if you say plenty, I don't go. I know. All the shh shh shh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those ones, I don't go. Don't mind now, this guy. This is for you. Yeah, but it's 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 for if you do, I'm like you. They live. That be all, basically. Right. So, so what's on the bucket list now? Not yet ticked. Um, going beyond music and all the things that I've had to complain about in the same system that I've been in, try to do my quarter to do, uh, to not solve, but at least, if, if not solve, at least be on a path to try to solve the things that I wanted for my industry. If those things are done, uh, I think I'll be, I'll be fulfilled to a, to a certain extent. Can you, can you share some of them? Some I can't, which is very important because um, if you're solving these things, it's hard to like openly um, uh, discuss them. I learned that some time ago that, yes, advocacy is good, but there are certain issues where it doesn't need that. You just have to put action to it, and then behind the scenes you can work. But I think as we all have a fair idea that technically there are things that, I will not even say Ghana, Africa, we are yet to, to sort out for our music industry or entertainment industry to be respected. And the fact that the people, let's say corporate or even government, to see the, the importance of our industry. Because people literally hear entertainment and they think literally that's what it is, that we're just entertaining and that's it. But every part of our life as, as humans needs us. You can't do without it. And even if you're not, it's not even about emotional attachment to it. Even business, if you're talking business, there's a lot of businesses that they are rating as high business that brings money to the, the continent. But you're living one of the biggest commodities that we have. And it's not it's not been tapped. I mean, I think it's been how we've been having our conversations with the people that need to understand. We have been built the skill to make them understand, to speak their language, and that is what I'm trying to work on. That um, if I could round up some of my, my people in our industry, so we can change that narrative and have these people come in, support, so we can, you know, get some things right. Because I've had conversations with certain people in certain countries where they had the same issue, but then they had a way to go about it to explain. For people to understand how to even present your documentation for them to go like okay this is worth us coming in you know? so those things is, is is like dear to my heart at this point mm, so um a big kudos to you because at the end of the day you've 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 achieved this height by not being signed to a label mm -hmm. so the question here is if if we had to do all over without would you want to sign? Would you want to be signed onto a label, or you would still want to go the same path? Um, we're, we're working with a big machine is very necessary, but I, I think as individuals, you should know what you can work with and what you can't. We have artists who are definitely are supposed to be on their label. Both sides are, are good. We have the advantage disadvantage but we have certain artists that you don't have to go to cycle there ralph i i i will still do that because as a person that's how i am you know i'm very hands-on already so if anybody should 
be in charge, they might have to be like a hundred times, which is always hard to find people like that because I would be doing, I'm too hands on with it. And, and people are okay with allowing people to, to move. When George said what he was saying, he mentioned something, I'm, I want to be a part of it. And, and um, Boo was there when Rapaholic was going on. I had to be there from like the get go to get everything. Like, so such a person, it's hard for me to like leave everything in charge with some people to be in charge of that. I will panic, it will affect my creativity. All that. So me, I can't deal with it. But that doesn't mean it's, it's wrong to sign to a label. So I think moving forward, I, I root for a lot of artists to actually sign, you know, to have a big machine. If So we can have at least few artists who can take us to that higher height. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So in the, in, the, in, the, in the spirit of... Um, so, so what I'm hearing is that you're a builder. Mm -hmm. And it, it's not like you're waiting to watch the building go up and then come and just sit in. You want to be part of the process. Exactly. And since you have so much love for the industry and there are things you want to literally change, um, I'm just going to take this and you know probably move it back into the space of you having a label yes. and putting people out there. Is that like going to be the next phase of Sarkodie? Um, that is that is one. I think having a label and signing is one. You can actually just co-sign as well and actually give opportunities to artists and, and link them up with people that you know and actually even recommend artists and just say, this guy is actually good. You could just present the person to Bulldog. Bulldog will make the person a star. I don't have to be the one to do it. But then to get to Bulldog, I might be the, the reason. But I think that's that side we've been doing it throughout our career. I think what we're trying to do is after that, how do we put all of this under one umbrella, monetize and make it make sense. Because just coming out and being a big artist and then there's no structure. Uh, if you're not personally somebody who likes to maybe do business or uh, be economical or whatever, which is more of morals, you know. But I think we should, there should be a base where whether you, you have morals or not. You, you, people who choose wealthy lifestyle, being rich, but then the basics of having your uh, royalties or whatever being given to you, whatever you want to use that money for is your personal issue. But I think that base should be there. That is my focus. <laughs> I, I get right. what I'm trying to. So, so like, um, because I know with respect to you, know, you did something with Aquabo and Co. Yes. In the past, I'm just trying to see if you know it becomes like you know the oh, like main thing area. Of, yeah. yeah. Like this is what I'm gonna do. Like I'm gonna, gonna like I have the formula, so I'm gonna use probably the path I went through, and I'm gonna use that as basis to be able to push so, the so next five. Exactly. Or the next I get that point perfectly. So what I'm saying is, where my mind is 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 the end game after you do that okay because just having an artist i'll still put them out they have, they have become hits but then we still have the pro we have artists who have who are big and still complaining about True. The, the structure okay. okay right so that is what i'm talking about the end okay. product the structure, the okay. structure exactly okay. Okay. Yeah. okay cool so, so the last one no no, no I, with, with I respect just, to structure no just i just want to add to what he said mm -hmm. you know i think what you're hoping to do is is, is um is laudable i think our biggest problem is that Everybody in the space is passionate <laughs> and not business minded. Exactly. Now, the business people need, or I don't know, <laughs> they need to see what we're trying to do or what we've built thus far so that they can now take it to the, where you're saying. Because if, 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 if you're going to now champion that, yeah, it might affect passion it might affect creativity because it means you have to put that on the banner back banner and now move into that space i'm sure yeah you'll be walking into different rooms like powerful rooms you say some of these things but to really really champion it you really need to have time dedicate yourself to it you know because and 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 i i believe it means retiring mm. Yeah, because this, this is a big job. You remember we had a discussion even way before him that, look, we're talking about, I think, folk music. And you spoke about people who wrote what folk music is, as in, in the writing. And those who actually live it. Live it. You know, there are two different people. That's what, where we think, I think we should be, be now. Or people should take, and there are too many examples, yourself and your other colleagues, that are doing the right things. Look at what we're just hearing, you and Bob Marley. Hey, it's huge. Your other brother did with um, Beyonce. It's mm -hmm. huge. Look, if business people out there will just look at oil, gold, and other pharmaceutical and will not take us seriously, I, I, I don't know again what we should be doing. 
Yeah, so so that one, okay, so that's another conversation that is like a whole thing that we need to be able to have. But just one last thing, though, and it's it's got to do with the, the structures we're talking about. So time and again, I've heard from the Gamro perspective that they've been trying to reach out. Like, your money be there, there. Come take the money. Okay, okay, okay. Yo, like, yo, and then, yeah, there's no response from Sack. No, they like the money. money. What is it with you and no response? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't want the money. Man, I'm your brother. No Come on. Pressure, no pressure. <laughs> to, to, be very, to be very honest, we, the, that's why I didn't want to like hit on what has to happen. Because what has to happen when these dialogues, you don't want to offend anybody when you, you need them in the process. Right? So I'm very careful with uh, questions, like, even if you have an answer at this point. But I think where we are and where we stand and what we're trying to do, we can't stand the chance of putting anybody under the bus and trying to like look down at anything because it's point. a whole ecosystem we all need our, ourselves so these conversations i'm pleading with you but i can't have it yeah okay, but as a, mm. the number okay. okay yes, yes. okay enough. cool Noted. right so charlie um big ups to sack i mean right. yeah. Yeah. uh young black boy is sacked in work to ask him so good morning mr Andy. please ask her that when he's coming to tamale so that people <laughs> okay so it's part so tamale, for kumasi tamale kumasi um someone uh, uh, the west I think it's Cape Otadi. And then um, we do we do vote, I think. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, where do you mind? All right. Now, Igilai um, 7 says, Andy, Samini says he doesn't need verses to blow. So why is he crying that Sag Blue ticked him for a verse? Anyway, Sag's mentality is really enviable because how he's able to compose himself and not lose it, even on air, Charlie. I love him for this mindset. Speaking yeah. of Samini, um, so, yes. He's on air. Yeah, he, there are certain things he wants to, he says he wants yes. to, clarify. Uh, Samini, thank you very much for joining us. How are you this morning? Yes, yes, Andy Dosti. Greetings and greetings to everybody in the uh, studio this morning. I'm doing great, thank you. Okay. And uh, I hope everyone is good too. Yeah, we're, we're very well. So, um, for me, I woke up to see your tweets and it was, yeah. it, it was, it was everywhere. Yeah. Right. So, f for clarity, what has sagged down to you? Um, this this whole thing started from Twitter last night when I I just told fans to ask me any question they would want me to answer. So one of them came with a question about whether or not I would I would work with SAC again and when was the last time we worked. So I said point blank that I don't think I would need a verse from SAC, but if he ever does need one, I'm not going to do it because I have my reasons why I said that. You know, so I was telling him because I know the person that's asking me is obviously a SAC fan and a Samini fan and would want to see that collaboration happen. I have a few instances where SAC has disrespected me, but I didn't bring it out in public. But from how SAC Nation has risen on the Twitter thing and are disrespecting me even further for me coming out to spill the fact that um, something was done to me some years back that I didn't feel good about, but then I just felt like at 41, I don't have to hold anything back and I don't have to have, let anybody feel special in their corner when I know that I felt shortchanged. First of all, when Sark sent me the track for Love Rocks, I did it under 24 hours and sent him the song. Then somewhere along the line, I was in London. He sent me a certain track. I was down in Cuffley in the studio. I did it under 24 hours and sent him the verse. Ask him. Anytime he sent me a, a WhatsApp message, it takes me... What, less than five minutes? I'm good on communication. I don't know about him. It takes me less than five minutes. I'll respond to you. I'll tell you the truth, what I'm about, what I can do, or what I can't. If you message Saki, he would not respond. And I heard uh, Kwaukezi also complain about that. So I thought, okay, maybe that's the way he is. No problem. I don't really, he's not my friend like that. And he will attest to that. Like, we don't talk. We don't call each other. There's no reason why we should have a beef. Nothing. But my thing here was that when I did everything that he ever asked me to do in time and on time, I expected that he would know that my principles towards work is such that if you can do it, let me know you can. If you can't, cool. I sent him, um, um, he expressed interest with the, uh, my own remix. So, yeah, I sent him the original beat, the reggae beat. He did it first. They sent the um, files. And then I put the files on a remix beat. Obviously, he wanted to be on the original beat, but I thought that would distort the, 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 the history of the track because I have the original track, which is me by myself, and that's how it was a hit. So if it's a remix, if, if a, re a remix is an interest, let's put it out, but let's put it out as a remix. I don't think it went to, to it went down too well with him because he would have loved to be on the bang, 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 I know. 
But the DJ Frost, the DJ Frost production. Exactly, exactly. But I wanted him on the um, um, Loud City production, which was a remix. So that was out the way. Then fast forward down the line, because I know I've done more than just one feature for him, and he just put one out. I know that I can always feel free and ask for any track I want him on if I feel, if I feel like he would work with it. So I told him I'm working on something. I need him on it. And he said, okay, send me a few. Let me see what I feel about them. I send you three tracks. You choose one. And then you ask me, um, is it an album or is it a single? What are you doing? I'm like, yeah, I'm working on an EP, and this is the very last track. We were talking in, I think, May, you know, in April or something, and I, I wanted to release the uh, thing in July. I told him this is the very last track. He's like, cool. And then fast forward down the line, Sack never responded. He never said anything about the song. He never did the song. Anytime I would ask WhatsApp, it's a blue tick. He can go on his WhatsApp, um, he says, um, WhatsApp right now and check my last messages to him. Even my invitation to the listening of my, my, uh, my EP. He read it and it was blue tick. So me, I know they take that too personal, but I know it, that's how he rolls. But when the fans came at me, like, okay, why am I feeling too entitled by saying, hey, I asked him for a, for, a, for a verse and he didn't do it. Here's the background to what I mean by I would not <laughs> expect to do anything with him because if I ask him for a track or if I have an arrangement for him to send me a track, he would delay me. But I don't delay people. Luckily for me, I don't need anybody's verse or anybody's chorus to make a hit song. You can play my catalog. The only song I have on my catalog that's a hit song featuring someone else is Whiskey's Time Bomb. Yes, reverse the roles. You can tell me how many sax songs that has people on there. That's what I told his people on the, on, the, on, the, on, the, on the Twitter platform because they were getting me furious by making me feel like me from 2001 is kissing sax uh, uh, um, backside, sax from 2009 for a verse. When fans are those that ask for these things, otherwise I per se, if you check my catalog, I would not need an additional voice on my song necessarily to make any waves. When I put him on um, um, my own remix, where did you go? It could not surpass my own itself. That is the strength I have over my creativity. You know, I don't have anything against Sark, which is what I said in the tweet. Okay. But I was offended the way he treated me, and that is where I pegged him from that time till today. I don't message Sark for anything. He doesn't message me for anything. Okay, so going forward, I would not, uh, I would not seek a verse from him, knowing how he can delay and distort my plans. Okay, so Sark, all right. Um, so with, with all this, so the, your your fury is not about Sark, but rather the fans. Is that what? Yes, if, if, it's not about Sark. It was about the fans because I explained to one fan who asked me a question: Would you ever do a song with Sark? And I don't feel like it's, it's time to close, um, I mean, throw, throw dust into people's eyes or cover people's um, deeds to make them seem like everything is calm when it's really not. There's other people in the industry who have done serious things to me that I've, just, I've been quiet about. You see this up here, 2 and 5 5 issue. I have a classical issue that I don't want to, want to even talk about right now. But one day, one day, it will come out. And we'll have to mention names and show who has been on road with someone's album forever and didn't pay a dime for it. And went and put it online and said it was theirs 100% when they know who the executive producer is. Have I come out to talk about this before? No. Yes, so I'm not like emotional, I'm just ranting about things that hurt me. But if I'm asked a question and I feel like this is the time to educate people and let people know how people are actually treating people on the ground as compared to how people make it seem when they come and they sugarcoat things. So you know force for me. He did a baby listen. You know force for me. You be my small boy, you know that. We did on the you Sack, Sack was the first guy that rapped and said he wants to blow and become like Samini in one of his very first raps. Later on when he went out and said, Kobisa Yogi Dogi dear Sonny Bali dear wine wine you Kobisa Sonny Bali dear Yogi dear Samini. I mean beside he said then are you dear Samini no. I said about radio so they asked him he said he's not really a Samini fan, so he doesn't really listen to the songs like that, so he doesn't know the song they're talking about. Same guy that said in his earlier freestyles that he wants to be like Samini. Guess what? Here is the Samini in 2023 still, my guy. Don't play. All right, Samini. Well, thank you very much for uh, talking to us. I'm so oh, grateful. It's, it's a forum. It's a forum. If, 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 I, if, I, if, I, if I'm privileged, I would like to hear a response from my brother. Say he's there in the studio. Oh, All right. Okay. So he says, well, if, if you heard him correctly, he says you will have uh, a, a conversation. Well, thank you very much. No, Sammy. no, we won't, we, won't, we won't have a conversation. He... Hello? 
Hello? Okay. okay. No, people might All think right. you cut him. Right. Sorry? People might think you cut him. Yeah, yeah, people might think. I beg, when they call him again, just uh, so that people don't read. Right, but, because I, 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 please, 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 if you can call him back, I'll, I'll be grateful. And it does. It, it no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> because. So, it's all free. I don't want to say anything, but I don't want to say anything. Well, I so, understand. You, you get me. So, you know, but it's all, it's, all, it's all good. Um, him feeling like that, I don't have any control over that. I can only say sorry to how he feels, not necessarily because I agree with everything he's saying, but if that's how he feels, you know, I don't think I have any, but I, it, my dream queen, he, the things that he's talking about. And to make some things clear, I said in the beginning, I treat things differently from how people would treat things. So, so every person in this industry has some, I, I wouldn't call it pain because I don't care because that doesn't mean that it doesn't happen to you. Everybody has something happening to them, you know? So um, I get it. He has expressed, if you want to take people to call and say, Sarko, dear, that's things for me quick, you have a thousand people who also say it. And then you have some people who also say, uh, I told Bulldog, it's about the music. I just recorded, not because the music is not good. You could hear a song that is so good, but maybe you don't hear yourself. You're trying to find a pocket in the song and then one day you do it. And then some songs, when they send it to you, it's like two seconds. Maybe, probably, if I send you a song and then you really loved it in that moment, you did it. Um, I didn't figure it out. I'm not, I'm not talking about him. It's, it could happen, as, as in general. So, um, to my brother, I would just definitely say um, sorry for how he feels. Not endorsing the fact that everything he's saying is what I believe in or what I think is the truth. But if he says he feels like that, then, yeah, sorry. Mm. I know, please. I am... Yes, just to touch on this, I mean, you see, these are two legends here. Yeah? I have never, I'm here to see artists that have been mimicked so much. You know, when Samini was coming up or Samini was up there, there were a lot of people sounding like Samini. Today, I can tell you 70 or 75% of the people rapping sound like Samini. Hey, sorry, like um, Sarkodie. These are their, their institutions. Uh, I, I, I'm hoping, I'm hoping this morning we'll, we'll set a new tone for them, you know, and, and clearly, I mean, Sack is apologized, so, so, I mean, I beg, big man, after here, maybe we just link up and see what's up, you know, no no bad blood. Thank I you very much, I part. appreciate that. Martinez? Boss, uh, okay, let me ask you, when are you guys also hitting the studio? <laughs> we do with Sack? Yes, you and Sack. <laughs> Who and Sack? Okay, make I also tell you. <laughs> oh, ah, boop out. Sag, as it makes a cook your love for house, make her bring my kiddies come play with the kiddies, make they do music. Yeah, Bulldog. Right, Andy, they do music. You don't come there, my studio, come sleep, come. Eh, they're not the way home, my studio. Oh my God. Look, you call Dampire right raining. now. It was raining. You call Dampire. Yes, it rained that day. <laughs> Ali, I get too many police. Okay, okay thank you. <laughs> I know what you say. <laughs> I know what you say. <laughs> you see what people are speaking? Like, it's fine, it's fine. I, you, say you, police, I say, I said, court, they won't go. You know be police. Eh, uh, okay, great. Why? So you don't fear police? <laughs> no, but who knows the fear? They're my people. Panis. He <laughs> was born in the <laughs> police, police hospital. Hospital. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. So, guys, it make you cook your love. Make I bring my kids, make I come play with the kids, and we do them. Oh, Charlie, oh, I'll call you at this time. <laughs> you know, do them. So, meaning, you know, come on. I know what tomorrow. You, you, you send them the B2A look. look. If, if you go BBC, oh. I'll call you to the station. <laughs> <laughs> if you go BBC, I'll call you to the station. <laughs> then tell them what you do me. Mm. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Um, when I see Sack, I think yes, yes. The, <laughs> the industry is blessed. I mean, Right from Check My Flow, um, Lay Away, throughout uh, the current track, the Bob Marley collaboration, all we can say is good. And someone asked the question that what is it doing that is keeping him relevant or so getting him the height is his reach now? I think from his earlier point, he made mention it, that he has a business partner who advises him on some of the things to go. So I believe that as an artist, if you're also aspiring to be big, to get there, these are some of the points he's laid down. And you need to follow. At least get a business partner mm. who will help you. You have the creative ideas, but then you need someone to also handle that part. And I think maybe some people don't know. And I'm happy he said that. It also has to do with vision. Mm. He knew where he was going. And so I'm not too surprised, and I believe everyone here is not that surprised because we saw that 
We saw that well in him. We saw that strength in him. Whatever is happening with regards to people having issues, we understand once we are all humans, once in a while people will have issues with us. Mm-hmm. Just that um, it looks there are too many. But then I believe that it's understanding. I'm happy he's apologized to Samini. The beauty of his presence here is about the collaboration and the album. And so this came up, but then I think it is soft. Bulldog has also passed his comment on that. I believe that Samini will let it rest. This album is big. I have said it on a different platform that we need to celebrate. We need to document this, even mm. how he got this opportunity and all of that, so that the generations coming up will have something to, to learn. And with all, everything will be fine in the industry. We should protect Sack. Mm. When you go wrong, we have to... Let's pray for him. Yes. We, 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 we have to... Um, have to protect Don't let him. us do to Nkrumah. Don't let us do what we did to Nkrumah. To <laughs> let, let, let's protect All him. Right. If, if we go wrong, exactly. we can <laughs> express our, our views. Yeah. Let's correct him. But we need to protect her because if it's no more, we won't have Sark again. We will have others come do their part. But looking at what Sark has delivered over the years as a rapper <laughs> for Ghana and Africa, I mean, other countries would have been very blessed even wish Sarkozy is from there. So yes, if you go wrong, let's say it. But let's protect Sark because he's made rap very exciting. He took it from where Brafo right. and Kogo got to, and he's taking it to the next level. So big ups. Thank right, thank you. Thank you, brother. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Your time, my brother. Over here, time, I So did you have to wake up for Sarkozy to see my property? You could just turn the mic. <laughs> He's going. Did I say Mike? Oh, Mike. <laughs> bars, bars, bars. bars. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I think everything has been said. I mean, you guys have um, bisected and dissected the situation. So um, I just have just a few things to say, which is the fact that he has proven that all, even if you have accolades or you have achieved a lot in the industry, it doesn't mean you should remain complacent. And he has proven it by working hard to achieve the height that he's at now and he should it should serve as a I don't know whether to call it a, a precautionary tale or um it should serve as um what's the word? Anyways, people should look up to him, isn't it? People should look up to him as to his resilience and how he's been able to achieve the most in the industry. Yeah, mm. that's all I have to say. Thank all you right. so much. So, listeners, uh, King Sark, man, I've, I've been... I, I'm always thrilled each time you you, you come over. Um, I think I'm... I don't know whether I'm the only person that, like... Yo, Charlie Mike, where are you I beg, more if he come. Yeah, I'll come. <laughs> <laughs> and, and yeah, like, here he is. And people are calling, oh, Charlie, you go for, like, Takradi. They said you've never been to Takradi for any interview. No, but it's, it's, been, a, it's been a minute, but I've, I've done that before. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, Dennis is asking, and please ask him, which artist will you want to do a joint album with? Wow, that's a joint album. Like Kanye and Jay. <laughs> yeah, actually, yeah, Sark and Ghana. Sark and now, now um, I don't know, but I think two or three years back, we almost did a project. This was me and Kwesi. It wasn't planned. Kwesi, Kwesi Atta. Oh, wow. Yeah, we recorded a bunch of songs that I felt like we could put out as a project. Yeah. So now you, you don't have anybody in mind? No. Hey, every year, Charlie. Okay. But who would you want to see? <laughs> I think we've seen... Charlie, like you and a raffle. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Ah, makes sense. And, and, and if it's doing, if it's him and a raffle, then it's a circle that has got different faces. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I mean PH, mm. you know. And why not if it's a rap, it be swag rap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want the yeah. swag rap. I want the I want the old you know like oh, the, the no, for, yeah. for me for you me know, like when he yeah. transitioned Robert. just just when he transitioned that particular age Charlie, Charlie you, the you songs know, there you know, you know yeah. I was okay no. so so <laughs> like that's what I was telling you so Angel. last week <laughs> last week Hammer Hammer tweeted that you is yeah, coming back. back so 
Um, we, Perfect. When, when, when I was building the studio, he was the first person I told. I'm like, Charlie, why don't you come back? I, 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 I hate it. Um, I say, Charlie, okay, I'm thinking about it. Fortunately, Hammer lives just about, what, five or ten minutes away from my studio. So he came there last week and we're having a, a discussion like this. And then he was telling me about Sark. He showed me a video of when he brought the A1 bread, came to fry some eggs yes, in his oh house. Yeah. And we're having this, dis uh, this discussion. I think if Sark would work with someone like Obrafo. He has to be hammer. I'm looking at, yes. And I'm looking at Obrafo rapping and Sark singing the chorus. <laughs> 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 I mean, as a producer, I mean, that's uh, what I think. Uh, Enough of Sark rapping. Some, that would be very yeah, well, good. Not all. Not all. Yeah, if it's a not project, all. certainly you want, to, you want to have all yeah, the pieces come through. Like side A. Yeah. Mm. Some side, 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 side A. Side A. too has, has metamorphosed into a somewhat a hook master. Mm. Oh, that you thing has it. always been like yeah. that. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. Always, I think so, he's always had a love for singing, even yeah. more than rap. Yeah. So. But Rob, talking about the rap, have you listened to anything? I think that was so Anything, yeah. Last album. No, but you see, anything album. wouldn't get to him because even the production is still has this new era feel. <laughs> so I, I know exactly what you're talking about. But at the same time, these two things, if I tend to do the one that you're talking about, I'll also miss out on a certain crowd which i was just telling boo that your song like the kind of music that you guys are doing now Ghanaians, it's not everybody that has gotten there. Mm. yeah we are still there True. like in the, in the so but i what, got you i got you in easter though <laughs> <laughs> don't worry maybe you're home no a lot packed you had for, it here first for, for easter. <laughs> so i'll, I'll be dropped because i know it's deliberate i'm not i know exactly what you're talking about mm. i know the songs that will relate to if i think about she bad Mm. I'm not thinking. You're not thinking. Yeah, yeah, Grounds yeah. here will really hold that song. You know, I know that there's places for that song, and I know songs that when I do. Um, recently, I don't know if you saw Famia was in the building. We did it. Yeah, I saw. Fa uh -huh, good. So I saw Famia and Jackie. Yes, incredible uh, music. Uh, are, are they on one song? No, or separate. Separate. Yeah. Are, are you doing it for them, or no. it's your? So I just, so I give you telling if you say something and he has his line raised. Shh. <laughs> no, so for me, I have a, a verse for him, and it's vice versa. So, oh, yeah. Is it for an album? No, that's that's the thing I don't know. <laughs> so yes, you just so go I pile them up. Uh, I don't record and say I'm about to do one. I've never done that, so I'll just record. If it feels like it, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, I see. Ha have you heard the the red letter from Amrado? Yes, uh, Amrado always kills it. You know. So yes, I, I tweeted. I told him I'm, I'm on it. Yeah. Wow. We are about wrapping up. Uh, oh, I think there's uh, one. I saw one incredible. That was, um, okay, yeah, Sammy, TP Clan. I think I just read that about the red letter. And Anna say, says, uh, Andy, please ask him, Sack, when are we seeing him one guard and shatter on the world tour to be fired? Quiet, Charlie. What, myself? Mm -hmm. Stone and, and shatter. That would be, that's my prayer. That you have them all on one stage. Yes. Well, well, so mm -hmm. Shall let's make it happen. Mm -hmm. It wow. has to happen. Right. Now, people want to know when this is Tema is coming back. This year. 2023. Yes. Zach, you sure? That's why I won't say it. Or, or <laughs> <laughs> if I say it and then, you know, they, they hold me to it. Mm -hmm. But yes, it's, it's part of the roadmap. Wow. Yeah. Okay. We are about wrapping up. Now, World Cup finished, but act action still there. Be a minimum or bet a minimum of 10 Ghana CDs on Betway Aviator and stand a chance of winning amazing and exciting prizes, including vouchers, smartphones, and many more. Sign up and play at betway.com.gh. Terms and conditions apply. Betway.com.gh. Let's say a big thank you uh, to Betway. It's the clash of the Titans. Big Brother Titans is here. Two African giants, Nigeria and South Africa, come together in Biggie's house. The show will stream live 24 hours on the pop-up channels 198 on DSTV and 129 on GoTV. Catch the daily highlights at 9.30 p.m. and eviction shows at 7 p.m. on Sundays on Aquaba Magic DSTV channel 150 and GoTV 101. Dial star, 79, star 59 hash star 759 hash to stay connected and witness all the drama and excitement in the epic season of Big Brother titans now with the jams album so what how's it doing yes so uh we're yet to drop the countryside video and she uh, got your record not, uh, yeah your record. That, that video is also yeah it's ready and then i have two videos that uh is already shot the uh, confirm and then one million city 
So, yes, I, I, I'm actually using this year to focus on ending jams. You know, so countries are definitely, we have to put icing on the cake. The, the visuals is, is long overdue. So, yes, I'm still pushing it. Do you rest? A lot. Yeah. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, the way, like... Oh, as in work-wise, work-wise, because I record a lot at once. So I can go for like two, three months not recording because I one night could do 10 to 15. So, Oi! yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Drew, you ain't there with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 10 to 15? Yeah. So overnight. No, but I make sure that before Posse G comes, I have the lyrics ready. So I would, what, I, what I'll do is I rehearse a lot and then I have all the verses and I'll call him. Sometimes in between, I'll let, I'll let him come and just take two and go. But I think I could do easily 10, 15, yeah. So you can have like a whole two, three months of not working because a lot of... I have music packed from... I might not even give you clues, but we have people you have thought in Ghana that you don't think I have songs with them. We still have it in the vault, not touched. And these are like six, seven years ago. So, and all still relevant now. So yeah, Gospel? definitely. Yes. Yeah. That's high life. Hip life, hip hop, everything. Wow. Charlie, I beg you. We should. Uh, oh man, this jam. <laughs> when you go there, nod your head like some lizard. People, they. As you say, God, I say, we are rough, no matter. <laughs> Sakode, thank you very thank much you for so coming, much, man. Thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. Before do that, before you go left, before you play that song, nah, make it, make it, Bobby Head. Make it know that that's the signature to the whole album. Ah, <laughs> 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 uh, 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 like, yo, let it go, let it go. I can't hear, I can't hear it anymore. Uh oh, <laughs> oh. So when the good time comes and the money pile up for the countryside, if you don't wanna go see the paper, we stuck for the ride inside. <laughs> Man, kid song, man. Thank you very much for coming, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, you man. You. We love you. God bless you, man. 